This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.0. Instructors can now apply simple HTML markup to activity feed posts. This feature implements PI item D4046. Instructors can now apply bold, italics, underline, and bullets when creating message and assignment posts. Instructors and learners can subscribe to receive email and SMS notifications for posts or comments in Activity Feed. In Notifications, learners and instructors can opt into new Activity Feed notifications. Learners now receive minibar update alerts for new posts in Activity Feed. Learners receive minibar update alerts that show a preview of the message, which class the post was made in, and a timestamp. In addition, instructors receive minibar update alerts that show when and which learners leave a comment on a post. Instructors can now make changes to the schedule of push to homepage activity feed posts from within lessons. You and your instructors can now choose from a larger, more diverse pool of images in the course image library. Two new configuration variables allow you to show or hide the message alerts icon and the course selector. To hide the message alerts icon, enable the D2L, Settings, Navbar, Hide Alerts for Messages configuration variable. And to hide the course selector, enable the D2L, Settings, Navbar, Hide Course Selector configuration variable. Users with role switching or impersonation capabilities now see a visual reminder. The personal menu on the minibar now changes the profile picture and name to provide a constant reminder that a role switch or impersonation is in effect. The D2L Tools Homepages Banner Enabled by Default Configuration Variable has been renamed D2L Tools Homepages Banner Default for Courses. Parents can involve themselves in online learning by viewing assignment details in Brightspace for Parents. When a parent opens an assignment from the upcoming work or recent grades widgets, they will see assignment instructions, external resources if applicable, and the completion status. You can now use the forward, backwards, and refresh buttons of your web browser without losing your place in the config variable browser. Additionally, you can now bookmark specific pages in the config variable browser. This feature implements PI item D3201. Three data hub permission names have changed. Can export data competency log is now can execute data competency log. Can export activity exemptions log is now can execute activity exemptions log. Can export rubric object levels is now can execute rubric object levels. You now have access to a new competency activities dataset as both a full and differential dataset. This new dataset provides data about rubrics associated with competency activities. This feature implements PI item D4330. Instructors now see the Assess Topic dialog box in a pop up window when grading discussions. With Assess Topic opening in a pop up, instructors can freely move the window to view both the topic and the grading criteria at once. To maintain a consistent grading experience between discussions and assignments, the D2L, Tools, Dropbox, Rubric Window Style, Config Variable has been removed. Now, rubrics always open in a pop-up window when grading assignments. Now, when a new user sets up custom email, they must follow a verification process before receiving notifications. This feature implements PI item D1866. Instructors can now add feedback on learners' grades in bulk. Instructors can also now sort the feedback column in the gradebook to figure out which users do or do not have feedback. This feature implements PI item D3953. With multiple learners selected in the gradebook, instructors navigate to and click Add Feedback. They are prompted to add feedback for multiple learners. Instructors can now create subgroups based on section or group enrollment using a new group creation category, Restrict Enrollments 2.
This requires you to turn on the new D2L, Tools, Groups, Restrict Cross-Section Groups configuration variable. Additionally, the Restricted by Org Unit ID API allows you to create groups for learners in a specific section or group. This feature implements PI items D1282, D472, and D3830. Instructors can now opt into or out of pacing on an individual basis. In the Options menu, Schedule My Units was renamed Pace Course. Instructors can click it and enter the dates the course begins and ends for the content to be evenly spaced within the specified date range. They can opt out of the pacing by clicking Clear Pacing Dates. New date types have been included in Manage Dates, and some lang terms have been updated. Dates now display for quiz submission view names and dates, quiz reports, discussion topic and forum unlock dates, checklists, and surveys. The status column has been renamed Visibility Status, and new statuses have been included. Visible, Visible with Conditions, and Hidden Conditions are inactive. Additionally, Grade Object has been renamed Grade Item or Grade Category, Module has been renamed Content Module, and Topic has been renamed Content Topic. You can now search for specific learning groups by name in Manager Dashboard. Improvements have been made to the new SCORM solution. For further details, please review the release notes. You and instructors now have the option to render a custom widget in an iframe.